Welcome to Adventures by D. Dean, where are we today? We're at Stonecrest, Georgia at SeaQuest. At SeaQuest! It's 20,000 square foot of animal land and sea interactions. So we're about to go inside the Stonecrest Mall and have some cool up close animal adventures. So make sure if you like animals, give us a like if you enjoy the content. Make sure you subscribe and hit those notifications so you know we put up all the wonderful animal interactions we're going to have this year. In addition to the theme park content we normally do. So Dean, let's say we go inside and check out some of these animals. Let's go. Dean, this is where our quest begins. But here are the prices. You need tokens here to feed animals for different animal encounters. So I'll let you see what how many tokens you have need. And when you after you sign up for a pass, they normally give you six tokens. Sequest was nice enough. Probably not as busy today. They gave us 15 tokens when we got here. So we'll put those to good use. So this is what I did. I had 30% off two passes. They had an online special. But passport annual is 50. And then you get free tokens with it. So you come in the door and the first thing that you see are these little baby goats. I think this one's checking out my wind sock on the mic. Looks like food. There's Dean, he's a little bit ahead of me. These guys are wanting to know if I'm going to use the token to feed them. They're checking me out. Looking for food? Hmm. Look at that. And then, over here in the corner, pigs are pretty calm. The goat's a little bit aggressive. And you put one of your tokens in, and you can feed them. And then over here, we have two cans, as Dean said. Yeah, I think he likes the red light on the camera. What a beautiful bird. You can get really close to the animals here, I have to say that. This one's in a full cage, unlike the goats we just showed you. Put your hands down. Prison bean. Tango. is a little bit spicy. Okay. He likes to fly on out and try to get the food out of your hand. Mango is more tame, more laid back. Mango doesn't really approach humans very much, but they love to tap on your shoe and say, hey, I'm down here, don't forget about me. Alright, good luck, Dean. Oh, they know you're coming in. Dean is going to go in with the two cans. Oh. He's inside. He's got food with him. Oh, he's feeding them both. Look, that's, that's really cool. Look, look, there's a ray right there. Oh, look. I never got that close to a ray before. This is the stingray bay. Let me pull back. It is a huge tank.
Over there were the pigs. You saw the two cans there. The pigs and the goats where we came in. And then here, I'll call this Stingray Bay, but you can get up close and personal. Look, there's that one that's swimming upside down. Ooh. Right there. California Round Ray. And then uh, they have a step up here. Oh, you can feed them. So you can feed them. You want to feed them? Yeah, I'll feed them. Smells like shrimp or something. I think it is shrimp. Can you see it? Yeah, it's good. Wow, I've never seen a mouth on the stingray before. They are loving this. The mouse on the underside. Look, even some of the fish are going for it. Yeah. Look at that one. These guys are having at it. Yeah, cool. there's even like a little file fish, a uh, royal blue angel. That's like a really expensive fish. That one in the middle. <laughs> Yo, that one's trying to talk to you. Oh god, that's really creepy. I've never seen him come out of the water that far. That's really weird. Oh, Have you ever seen a <laughs> lot of These guys are hungry. And I see the edge of the... We've been to a lot of touch tanks and aquariums, but I've never seen the rays come this far out of the water. And let me give you this back up and give you some idea of the tank here. They're going crazy for the... Dean, what kind of fish are we looking at here? Uh, Paku. It's uh, supposed to be a night fish in here. You know, these like blood parrots. Are Paku uh, always this big? Yeah, they're like the cousin of the piranha, but they're like vegetarian. There are some big fish. And there's also, you said, some clown knife fish in there too? Yeah, those hide in the back though. And then there's red tailed catfish. But you know, they're catfish. Right. Are those them down there on the bottom? Red tailed catfish? That's the one that has the whiskers. Oh, you're a catfish. There's also a uh, kissing garami. Oh, there's an Oscar in there too. I guess everyone's in the pool too. Dean is going in to the Wallaby VIP. So, here they are over here. We got the 130 VIP interaction. It was 10 tokens. So Dean's gonna go in and he used 10 of his tokens individually. I believe they're $25 and a group of three, it's 50. But you do get a discount if you have an annual passport. 
So these guys are three Bennett right next to all of these. So right here, you'll see our female horses. Right here, you'll see our youngest male fish. And back there is our male toy. These guys are more active for uh, dawn. And they kind of rest throughout the daytime. But uh, as long as you have fish, they'll come over to you. And they are smaller cousins of the kangaroo. So if you know you cook out, they'll come over to you. And the females, they do have a cousin just like the kangaroos do. And they're they more right into the hole. They're more as well. Um, uh, these guys can hop up to nine miles per hour. They can also swim and crawl. We ain't liking you what you have, Dean. And they can communicate using their ears. So if you look very close, you can see they move their ears and the pencil. They're going to town. Let me see if I can get some in my... Uh... Yeah, these guys are near to Australia and Tasmania. Uh, they kind of consider tech in that area due to the fact that they get into a lot of problems. What are we feeding them? What kind of food are they eating now? Uh, these are specialized pellets, so they're more of a treat. Uh, they really get their main diet at night time, so that's just like a lot of fruits, uh, vegetables, hay, sweet potatoes, etc. Yeah, they're 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 there you go. So we're inside the wallaby cage, feeding the wallabies, part of the VIP, one of the VIP um, experiences here. You go inside the cage and you get to feed them. See if I can get one of them to come over here. How old are they? Um, our female this one only likes me. Apparently. Our youngest female. Female or boy? Um, yes, that's a female. Uh, we have two males. Uh, Pan here, he's around one year old. Uh, uh, Cody, he's two years old as well. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty active. They like to go out and play. They like to go out and play. Dean, I don't think they want my food. Your food's stinky. You gotta keep it down to their level. Ah, there you go. And if you notice these guys are always on alert to protect their prey animals, so some predators they have to worry about in the natural habitat would be uh, eagles, dingoes, pythons, feral cats, and foxes. Thank you. Dingo got chihuahua, right? And they're native to Australia? Yes, Tasmania. Tasmania, but okay. There's a small population that was recently released out in New Zealand as well. I have more. Fascinating animals. Are they full grown now? Uh, no. These guys can reach up to 14, and that side is around 45 pounds. Yeah, they're like dash size now. But males are much bigger than the females, so the males are usually on the reset uh, 45 pound range. This is so cool. The uh, teeth and tongue are pretty sharp, I can say that. Yeah, they're claws. Although they didn't really bite me, I have to say. They were very gentle taking the food. That one gets some food. Oh, he's over there. Yeah. Yeah. Dean, what did you think of the wallaby interaction, the VIP? Uh, that was pretty fun. I mean, I get to touch them, you know, feed them, so that was cool. Yeah, I mean, talk about up close and personal. You get to sit on that bench right there, and they give you some food, and they come right up to you. So it's like your uh, household cat or dog, basically, right to you. They are very gentle, I have to say. We don't see a wallaby too much here in general Atlanta unless we're in the, a zoo or aquarium, so that was really cool. I have to say that's the highlight for me so far. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What did you say, Dean? I thought it was awesome. All right. This guy's saying bye, I think. Dean, life finds a way. So for three tokens... You can come in and interact with the bingle cats. What is a bingle cat? Well, here you go. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah. I'll let you stop if you want to read the video. And they are hunting around in here. 
a domestic cat breed of an Asian leopard cat. So these are the bingo, bingo cats. You can't pick them up, but you can play with them. Dean the Cat Whispers. And this is three tokens each. They're both what? Boys. Boys, okay. So we're, we're inside the cat cage here. The mingle cat. We were over there with the wallabies, and now we're inside with the cats. That's a pretty big enclosure. What do they feel like, Dean? What do they eat? Food. Cat food. Just cat food? I don't know if they have a specialized diet. No. Because it's just like an exotic cat mixed with a domestic cat. Alright. 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 Look at those beautiful spots on them. Spots and stripes. Good, very soft. That one wants to eat. Check out some of the merch. $17 for a dinosaur shirt. Then we have a lizard shirt here, or maybe it's a gecko for $22. Gecko shirt. Then uh, I could probably use one of these today. It's kind of a cold, wintry day. Thirteen dollars for a nice winter beanie. Oh, color and ball cap for twenty-two dollars. And then of course they have all kinds of stuffed animals. Smaller ones, huggers for ten ninety-nine. And then they have some. Uh, Mermaids and snakes and little clip on chalk, more stuffed animals. Toy trucks. Fill a tube. How much are these seals here? 20 bucks for a medium sized stuffed animal, not bad. Some more animals. Dino Adventure. Actually, they have a lot of merch in this shop here. Giant, there's your giant sloth right there. How much is this guy? Yeah, sixty-five dollars. And then I forgot there's so many animals here. We're actually in Stonecrest Mall, <laughs> so you can walk right out in the mall here when you're done, or come in this way. We came in from the outside, but we're literally in Stonecrest Mall here in uh, suburban Atlanta. Okay, we are done at SeaQuest inside the Stonecrest Mall. Dean, what were your favorite parts? Uh, I really liked the interactions, especially the Wally B one was uh, actually really fun. I enjoyed that. What other interactions did we do? Um, we did the Bangled Cats, uh, two cans, and we got to feed a lot of animals too. Yeah, the feeding is definitely the highlight. Here you can feed a bunch of the animals yourself. Um, just buy some tokens when you come in if you don't get the free tokens with the pass. Um, love the wallaby interaction. You get inside, the wallabies come right up to you. All right, Mr. Marine Biology, what did you think of the fish in there? The fish were pretty cool. I mean, they had a lot of variety. 
I mean, a bunch of different fish in each of the tanks they had too, so you could pretty much feed them all as well. The stingrays are really cool. You could throw in the uh, shrimp, the dried shrimp, and they'd come and you could actually see the mouth and the underside of the rays. That was a highlight for me. So I enjoyed it. Um, Sequest at Stone Quest. So come on out and Sequest is new to the Atlanta area. The one here in Atlanta just opened in November. So if you enjoyed animal content, we got a whole playlist of aquarium and zoos. Check that out. Make sure and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed today's visit. Um, consider if you're new subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when our content goes up. We post 4K videos weekly of adventures in theme parks and all over Atlanta and the Georgia area and Tennessee as well. So with that, Dean, what do you want to say? May, May the, the adventures, adventures be, be with you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ringing a bell. So you'll be notified of our next upload, and as always, may the adventures be with you.